before the video starts, I just want to say if you have any questions about this or any problems come up or just any questions about Unity, make sure to join my Discord server link in the description. It's also an easy way to get in my videos. And I also want to say this is pretty much just a shortened down version of Maz VR's video. If you didn't know, Maz VR made a video on this, but it's 40 minutes long. So this is kind of a shorter version of that. Yeah, let's get into the video. Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make your very own VR game with Gorilla Tag movement using Unity. And yeah, let's get right into the video. First of all, you wanna download Unity Hub. Right now, my current version is 3.1.2. And then you wanna go to installs here on the side and click on where it says install editor. And then try and find 2021.3.3F1. That's one that works for me. Then when you click on install, make sure you select all the things that say like Android and the two things below low android and then click download you can check if it's downloaded or not by going to downloads at the bottom left here and then it will say something like this once it's finished downloading go to the top right corner here and click on new project for editor version click on it and then do 2021.3.3 f1 and click on 3d core so everything should look something like this and then here in project name you can make it anything you want pretty much whatever you want to name your game so i'm just going to do tutorial game and save it to wherever you want to save it and then just click create project then this should pop up and it'll start loading the project then once it's downloaded it should open this the next step go to the top left here click on edit then go to project settings then go to xr plugin management and then just click install xr plugin management and then once it's downloaded this should show up pretty much you want to click on this monitor thing then once you clicked on the monitor thing click on open xr and then it'll download some stuff then something like this should pop up just click yes then it'll most likely restart unity that's fine then once it opens again there should be this thing next to it just click on it, then click edit. Then over here, click the plus, click valve index controller and oculus touch controller. It doesn't really matter, but just so we save everything, just click on file here and then click save. I save my project every so often. Then what do you want to do? Well, you're still on this page where it says render mode up here. Change it from single pass to multi pass. Then go to the Android settings, change the render mode from single pass to multi pass. Then go back to XR plugin management. Then go to Android settings over here. Just click on Oculus. Then it'll download everything that you need for Oculus and then go down here to where it says oculus then go to the monitor change single pass to multi-pass go to android settings change multi-view to multi-pass then just turn on low overhead mode and where it says target devices here i would keep it on quest and quest 2 so people on quest and quest 2 can both play your game and yeah that's everything to do with settings so you can just x out of that and x out of that now click on file and click save just to save it then what you want to do you want to go here to window go to package manager then you want to click the plus here and do add package from git url and then type in c om.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit and then just click add and then this will download and then it'll pop up something like this just click i made a backup go ahead i forgot to do something go back to edit go back to project settings go to open xr and then android settings here click on the plus then just click on oculus touch controller profile file and save then you can just x out of that okay now back to what we were doing before go to package manager in xr interaction toolkit just click on samples in order to starter assets just click import and now this should be here now just x out of that now if it didn't put you in the file already just go back to assets go to samples go to xr interaction toolkit 2.0.2 .2 or whatever it says starter assets and now what you want to do you want to click on each of these five things you don't want to do this one what you want to do you want to click on them and do add to action base continuous move provider default or whatever the add thing is then add to action base thing and just do that for all of them okay so i just did that for all of them now you want to go to edit go to project settings you want to go to preset manager and here it'll say action base controller for the one that says xri default right controller you want to click this and then just type in right and for this one you want to type in left and then you can just x out of that and save the project if you want then you want to go to the link in the description for this github page this for the movement system yes this is the official gorilla tag movement system then once you're here you want to click on gorilla locomotion.unity package and then here just click download and then this should download then if you want you can just x out of that go back to assets and then you want to right click here and then do import package and then custom package then go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded it to then click on the package and then click open then something like this should pop up make sure everything is checked and then just click import then it'll say this just click reload and now you have the movement if you want once again you can just save now it's time where we can just make some starter map just click the plus here go to 3d object and go to cube if you don't know how moving works in unity pretty much if you just do w a s and d it doesn't do anything so you have to right click and then you can hold it to move or while you're holding down right click you can do w a s and d to move around and yeah now just click on the cube click on this thing it's the scale tool then you can scale it to be small i'm not going to go too in depth on how you like make stuff in unity but you know it's pretty basic pretty easy to learn as you can see it's 
like Roblox Studio if you used to make games on Roblox. We don't want it to just be a white platform. So what I always do, I right click in assets, go to create and then do folder. And then I name the folder materials. Then I double click on that. Then right click here, go to create and then do material. And then you can name it whatever. For now, let's just do red. Then click on this, go to this thing right here. And then you can make the color whatever you want. As I said, I'm just gonna make it red. And then there's two ways you could color your platform. One, you could just drag it on here. Or an easier way, you can just drag it straight onto the thing. But you know, this is kind of boring. So I'm just gonna make a new cube here. Make some platforms to jump to. I'm gonna duplicate that. And I just made a kind of staircase, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna make those blue. So I'm gonna create a new material and call it blue. And I'm just gonna make all of these blue. Now instead of making a cube one by one, what I did, you can just click on a cube. You could do control C, control V, or you could just do control D, which completely duplicates the cube. And then you can move it up. And here's our basic platform thing. If you don't really know how to make stuff, you can search up tutorials tutorials on how to make stuff with unity the next thing that we're gonna do here where it says main camera click on it on the side and just click delete now we're gonna go to file and then just save this now it's time to add in our player so now go back to the main assets page double click on resources gorilla prefabs and here where it says gorilla rig just drag that in and pretty much this is our player as you can see these two circles are our two hands and this is where the player is going to be facing when they spawn in so you can put this wherever you want the player to spawn in for now i'm just going to leave it right there and now what you should do you should scale everything to the size of the player make sure you do not change the size of the player because that'll mess up everything so you know imagine you're playing the game would these be too big or small so if you want you can do Control a and then while it's still holding down Control, deselect this and that now you can kind of change the size of everything do it slowly but just make sure it's big enough so that you know if you were playing the game you don't go across the map in a few jumps and now once again let's just go to file and go to save and now it's time for us to play test the game after play testing the game we're going to add multiplayer which is pretty easy so to play test the game you need to have pc vr or you can just use airlink but any way to use oculus link and then make sure you open up steam vr so now once you're on pc vr just click this little play thing on the top then it'll start loading in and now, as you can see, I'm in the game, playing the game. Now, as you can probably tell, these are a bit too small, so we're gonna resize them in a bit. But you know, as you can see, it's Gorilla Tag movements. But when you play games like Gorilla Tag, or you know, fan games, usually there's actual arms. Now, I know exactly how to do that. I've done it before. If you guys want me to teach you on how to make a full 3D body in your game, just comment down below and I'll be glad to do it. So now that we know that the game works, I'm just gonna resize everything again because you know, it was a bit too small. I think that's good. Now I'm just gonna save that. And now time to add the multiplayer. So now what you wanna do, go to the link in the description. It's normcore.io. Just click on sign in, just sign in. Then what you wanna do, click on download and then it should bring you to this page. Just sign in, but then just click add to my assets. Yeah, so you have to sign in. Then once you're signed in, click add to my assets or open in Unity here. Then just do open Unity editor. Then it'll open up this in Unity. Just click download here. For me, it says redownload because I already have it. And then just click import, then import. And once it's done downloading, you can click close and just X out of that, next out of that. Once again, I'll just save this. As I said, I save it pretty often. Then go back to assets, go to normal, examples, VR player, then just click on this thing right here. What you want to do once you clicked on it, just drag it to Gorilla Rig, not up or down like this. When it's on Gorilla Rig, let go, and then it should be under Gorilla Rig. Now just click on this, and then what you want to do, where it says roots down here, you want to drag Gorilla Player to root, you want to drag main camera to head, drag left hand controller to left hand, and right hand controller to right hand. Then what you want to do, go back to norm core. You can close out of this. Then you want to go to applications up here. Then click on add new application. And then just name this whatever your game name is. It doesn't really matter. Then just click save. And then here it should say whatever you named it. And it'll say an app key. You want to just copy that. Control C. Go back to Unity. Go to real time plus VR player. Go to where it says app key. And just paste that app key that you just had in the website. Then you will be fine for multiplayer. Then just go to file and then save. And that's literally it. That's how you make the game. Here's a little disclaimer. In this part, I teach you how to export the game, but I do a part after that on how to build a mirror in the game. So you can just follow the steps on how to export the game, but just don't actually export it until you make the mirror, only if you want to make the mirror. Yeah, let's get into the video. But now, how do you publish the game? Well, you wanna go to edit, project settings, then go to player, then go to the Android thing right here, go to other settings. Then what you wanna do? Go down here to identification. Version, you have to change it, you know, every single time you update the game and bundle version code. Make sure every single time you update the game or make a new build of the game, change the bundle version code up one. So if I export the game right now, I can keep it at one. But if I do it again and I made some changes to the game, you know, bug fixes or something, I'll change it to two. Make sure minimum API level 
is on 6.0 marshmallow and then target api level keep that on automatic then you want to go to publishing settings then you want to click on key store manager then here where it says key store do create new and you can do anywhere then just do save then here this is important this is pretty much the key so kind of like every time you export the game, you need to enter in the key password here. I don't know why they do this. So just type in like a password for it that you'll remember. Then Elias, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna do tutorial game. Then type in your password again and again here. And then this, it doesn't really matter. All of this doesn't really matter. But organization, you can make it your team name, like your YouTube channel name, you know, whatever you want, whatever you call yourself. Here, I'm just gonna do be awesome. Then add key. Then it'll say key, whatever you name the key. Create it in, you know, whatever your key store is. Do you want to set them as your project key store and project key? Just click yes. Then these should be automatically filled in. But when you want to update the game and export it again, you need to go back to project settings, go to player, go to other settings, you know, change the bundle version code, go to publishing settings, enter in the password. And yeah, then you can just X out of that. Then you can save that. Then what you want to do, go to build settings. And this is only if it's a PC VR game, but I don't know why you'd want to do that. It's up to you. But you want to go to Android and do switch platform. And this pretty much makes it so it's a quest game and it runs on quest. Then just wait Wait for all this stuff to load now we're good then you want to click on add open scenes then where it says texture compression click on it and then do ASTC keep this on 32 bit then turn these off create symbols.zip disabled click on run device something should happen if it doesn't it's fine but click on that and then do all compatible devices and then compression method just keep it on LZ4 and then you just want to copy all of these settings and then once all of these are copied just click build now before I build it I'm gonna be showing you guys one more thing and it's one thing that a bunch of people do i learned this like three or four months ago and it never fails me but so to make a mirror pretty much you want to create a new 3d object and make it a cube then you want to move it up here you can size it however you want it doesn't really matter i'll just do this i'm gonna duplicate this move it here make it a bit smaller this then it's all white so you can keep it white if you want but i'm just gonna change the textures of it so this blue one so the one in the back you just click on it and then here you can rename it to mirror frame and then this one right here right click on it rename and then just rename it to mirror the texture for this doesn't really matter because it's going to be changed anyway then in the hierarchy just click on mirror right click on it and then just do camera and then you want to rotate it here where it says y make it 180 degrees and then enter and then what we want to do still in the materials page right click create then do render texture then you can call this mirror then what you want to do put a camera and where it says target texture just drag mirror on target texture and then on the actual mirror block i'm going to drag the mirror thing on there and it should be upside down it's fine just rotate the camera here just click on this and do negative 180 and then enter and now one thing that happens to everyone if you leave it like this it's gonna be inverted as you can see just to kind of test it the hands are on the left side but on the mirror they show up on the right side so what we're gonna do we're gonna click on the mirror here then click on the scale tool and scale it so it goes the other way kind of and now as you can see my hands are here and in the mirror it's here and now i can move this pretty much where this camera is facing is where it's gonna go so the camera is facing here so it'll look at everyone that's over here anything that's over here and yeah i should have told you how to make the mirror before i taught you how to build the game but you know it's fine once again comment down below if you want me to teach you guys how to change the character to like a 3d model like in my game it's a robot but you can also do if you want and change the color of these hands and yeah that's just the basics you know comment down below if you want any other tutorials i'm just gonna test this out real quick okay so now as you can see we're in the game I should have resized this stuff a bit bigger, but you know, the mirror is a good size. So now once you build the game, you can upload the file on itch.io, or you can just send the file to your friends, and it'll download as an APK file. Pretty much, you have to use SideQuest to sideload it to your headset. You can search up a tutorial on how to do that. I'm not going to be teaching you, but I can teach you guys if you want. It's pretty basic. If you guys want, you guys can send me your games that you made. Just join my Discord server, link in the description. Also join my Discord server if you have any questions about Unity and stuff. Or any questions about this if something didn't work out for you but it should work out after i finish recording this i'm just going to resize everything a bit bigger well everything besides the mirror because the mirror is a good size if it's a bit too laggy for you you can turn off shadows it's pretty easy just click on the object and then turn off shadows so once again comment down below if you guys want me to teach you how to make a full 3d body compared to you know this head and hands 
And just so you guys know, other people that you're playing the game with cannot see your yellow hands or whatever color you made it, but they will be able to see the black part of your hand, but not the yellow part. So I'm going to be ending the video here. If you guys like the video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join my Discord server, link in the description to be in videos and stuff, or just hang out with my awesome community, or if you have any questions or anything, and you know, please send me your games on Discord. I'd love to try them out. And anyways, guys, that's it for me today. Peace.